Hello there, I'm Scott Hewitt, and in this PC Answers tutorial, I'm going to show you how to organize your hard drive space by creating a RAID array of multiple drives. Now, we've got two 80 gig drives here, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a RAID array to combine them as one single drive letter, which will be more organized on our machine, but it will also utilize the full capacity of both hard drives. So, first thing you need to do is you need to insert these hard drives one by one inside your computer. And to do that, you're going to need um, SAT cables, which uh, you should get with each hard drive. And you'll have to use your uh, PSU unit to power them. With your case now open, take your two hard drives and place them into two empty slots. You may need to move um, other wires and cables out of the way. Be careful not to uh, disconnect anything but if you just carefully position them like so you can just slide them into the drive base and you need to do that with both of them these are your two new hard drives or two old hard drives as you can uh, can capitalize on the size of many old small hard drives by combining them all as one so here we go slide them both in like so Move all the other cables out of the way so that they're not getting in the way of any of the essential areas. And then you'll need to take your uh, new SATA cables or the SATA cables that came with the hard drives. So first we plug one end of the SATA cable into a SATA port on your motherboard as you can see here. I'm just going to slide that in like so. And then we take the other bit, the other end and we attach that to the data uh, connector on the hard drive like so. so so there we go that's plugged in and then you need to take a power cable a SAT power cable these, these should be attached to your PSU or power unit um, you should have a fair number of these enough to plug in three else four hard drives um, if not you may need a converter which will convert from the old type into the SATA type. You can usually buy these at uh, various hardware shops. So take the power cable and connect it up. Now you'll need to repeat that process for each hard drive you want on your RAID array. And then once you're finished, it's time to uh, power up your computer and then we're going to move on to the BIOS. So now when we start up our machine, you need to wait until one of the prompt screens comes up, comes up and it should tell you which key you need to push to get to your BIOS. In this case it's F4 to go to the RAID configuration utility and when we push that we come to this screen. So once in the RAID configuration utility, in, in this case it's a specific utility, it could be included in your BIOS on your motherboard. Um, it's like any, any BIOS system, if you use the up and down arrows to navigate the menus. In the case of some uh, systems, left and right moves across sets of, of tabs that may appear at the top. And you push um, return or enter to get into a menu. So in this case, we want to use this create RAID set. And then we're going to combine the two physical drives into one single drive. So hit return and then you will encounter a menu of um, different RAID settings. So what you can do is you can set what kind of RAID you want to create. In this case we want to create a uh, striped array and that would be RAID 0. So hit return. We recommend you use the auto configuration because there's not much in the way of customization you can do with a uh, manual RAID configuration. So hit auto configuration and it will then work out the full size of the new RAID drive. In this case it's two 74 gigabyte hard drives. It will create a 149 gigabyte RAID array drive. So hit return and it will ask you if you are sure if you push Y and then it will create this logical drive as a result. So as you can see, it will create a RAID array here, which is a 149 gigabyte RAID 0 set. Now, you need to get out of the menu now, and in this case, it's Control-E. In some uh, systems, it may be Escape. 
but it will tell you either along the bottom or the top bar of your system. So we're going to push Control E, and then we want to say yes. We're sure we want to exit. Now this will have saved, and then it will reboot, and then we will get uh, get into Windows through the normal method. So then we'll go up to my computer, and as you can see here, we have a 149 gigabyte hard drive, which is the C drive here. And those were the two hard drives that we just put in because we booted off of those. So you don't need to do anything else. If you go in, basically whenever you copy files to this, once it hits over the um, 79 or so meg from that specific drive, it will add it to the next hard drive, but it will act as one single hard drive. So that way you can utilize old hard drives in order to get the best performance.